seen this before. Yikes. This is where that Casey Kane, that nine's been so strong there. You were talking about it up off the corner, especially up off the smoker. Turn four. It's Casey Mears. A lot of smoke. I think that's his tire rub. Cut a tire down. And Kane and Martin pull away just a little bit from Tony Stewart, who hey, finds it in Casey three. Kane lost it. Oh, there's oil. There's oil on the that's racetrack. What it is. You know, you got you got oil on the racetrack. Mark Martin, Tony Stewart gets by. I think Matt Kenseth may have went up and brushed the wall. Oh, my gosh. I've never seen the brush to all there. Yeah, look, look, he, look, lots of damage. He's killed that right front of that car. What an incredible turn of events. All that smoke from Casey Mears. Yeah, I saw the sheet metal damage. I said, well, it's a tire rub, but, man, he was putting oil down. How close can you come to your first win and that not get it? Tommy Baldwin is just, hes he has no idea what has happened here. Oh, that is just, that poor kid. Here comes Kane down into the corner. You're going to see the car about right there. She takes off. Not too far behind him comes a whole bunch more. The car was perfect. We were pulling away, and um, it just swapped ends when I got there. There was something on the racetrack. I mean, lots of oil or fluid because it, there was no grip when I got there. Your emotions at the moment? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's disappointing. I didn't know. What to think? I came to a stop and everybody's crashing. I was looking at him, and then I was in the care center, and you know, you, we just went from just about winning another race, or not another race, but uh, just about winning our first race to to nothing. So yeah, it was real disappointing. It's, you know, you, it's it's really tough. You get a lot of heartbreak in this business, and unfortunately, both of the teams got it today. But they, again, they brought real good cars. They brought winning cars, and you know, again, sometimes maybe a little bit mad, but sometimes just stupid stupidity wrecks a lot of race cars i'm just really aggravated this is a bad time to ask me questions uh you know if i was a fan i'd be mad first of all nascar spends 40 laps under caution you know screwing around for who knows what reason if it's a scoring issue or what uh waste 40 laps doing that stuff you know of the race that all the fans can see a good race and then uh, uh this time a car blew up a half a lap before we got there and they never threw the caution they just let it go green until we all drove down in there and wrecked so um and on top of that i sat on the front stretch for lap and a half two laps never saw an ambulance still haven't seen one uh we uh a uh, bunch of us got in some small. Uh, I was I was told I don't know somebody blew up and was riding around in the groove. I I'm not really sure why uh, you would do that, but um, you know it, it cost us a good finish. We uh, GMAC Chevy guys did a good job. We uh, you know we got kind of tight midday, but they got the car better there at the end. Uh, we were on our way to a top five, and, uh, and this happened. So what do you do?